Yo, it's your boy Dragons of Thunder and I'm back live and direct with another video and before we get started about this breeding thing uh, Silkies and stuff like that and um, Crazy crazy morphs. I got my girl uh, Naga with me. Look at that spider web. I Got my girl Naga with me and we're chilling like a villain But anyway, uh, I got hoodies on deck. Um, this is my girl Yomi's by the time you see this, this is shipped off already. It's gone, bye-bye. Um, anyway, go to GrubTerra. Also, before we start the video, go to GrubTerra.com and get you some black soldier fly larvae for your dragons, um, for your babies, your sub-adults, juveniles, whatever. Go get you some black soldier fly larvae and use the discount code Dragons of Thunder. Read the description down below for my Instagram, Grub Terra, TikTok, and all that good stuff. Um, you can order hoodies, any color you want. Gray, light gray, black, navy blue, orange, yellow, whatever color you want. Order you a hoodie and a shirt. Anybody that has the uh, first round of hoodies or shirts um, with the vinyl in on it, don't. Don't dry it. Don't dry your hoodie. You can wash it like normal, but don't dry it. Air dry your um, hoodies, air dry your shirts. Um, the next set will be DTP, I mean, DTF or DTG. Um, the lady had her printer head messed up. She just got a new one in. But anyway, man, y'all be sure to thrash the like, pound, and subscribe. Now let's talk about, uh, let's talk about these uh, silk bags. Um, silk backs are considered unethical and to me they are but um if you know what if you know exactly what to do with a silk back i think it's fine but it's a lot of people that will buy silk back dragons and they really don't know or understand what they are doing with that dragon um silk back dragons the uvb the heat, like they can't have normal UVB like these beard, lovely, regular, normal leatherbacks and normal bearded dragons. Um, they need lotion, you know what I'm saying? They need daily soaks or every other day, things like that. Also, if you guys are soaking your dragons every day, if they're not a baby, really you're doing more damage than good. You shouldn't be soaking a bearded dragon every day. Bearded dragons are from the arid woodland desert area of Australia. And, and y'all know it's dry there. You know what I'm saying? Even, even when they have water puddles, they don't even use them. They don't get in them at all. You know what I'm saying? So stop bathing your dragons every day. Do it weekly. Nah, do it bi-weekly or monthly. Like if they're filthy or have poop on them, go ahead and do it. But uh, stop soaking your dragons every day or every week, man. It's, it's bad for them, man. It really is. You're drying them out. But uh, anyway, silkbacks, they are, they are uh, unethical and in, inhumane, I guess you could say, because a lot of people don't know what they're doing with them. And to be honest, everybody who understands the silkback will not be able to care for that silkback because they already have dragons or a breeding program, things like that. So it'll be new keepers getting silkbacks and man, they be looking bad. Um, if you pull up pictures of silkbacks and just look at their uh, sheds and look at their overall skin, just look at their skin, man, it's different, you know? And it's hard to care for, like um, even with the rocky terrain or uh, rough wood, stuff like that inside the enclosure, you really don't want that inside the enclosure with the silk back because you can cut them open. Um, they just have real soft, nice, petite skin. You know what I'm saying? They have no protection. They have no scales at all. No scales, you know what I'm saying? So they just smooth. So those are inhumane and people shouldn't really be breeding for them. And, and the way you get a silk back is taking two, two leather backs and breeding those guys together. So quit breeding two leatherbacks together now let's talk about let's talk about translucent zero whiplet things like that um to be honest all of those morphs are defects and i've been saying it 
for the past two or three months. You know what I'm saying? If if we were doing a real program to where we we're trying to save the bearded dragon, we would not at all breed for morphs. You know, morphs just like with the um, French bulldogs, the little, the extra large bulldogs, the pocket bulldogs, the exotic bulldogs. All of those dogs are just unhealthy, man. I mean, they can be healthier because they're living longer nowadays. But for the most part, you know, they can't even have birth in your home. You have to take them to a vet. Same thing with morphs, these crazy morphs with bearded dragons. Um, you just, you're stripping them of their natural look. You know what I'm saying? So if we were trying to preserve and save these animals within a program that was proper, you know, any dragon born white or translucent, whiplet, any of these dragons that's born like that, they would have been put out their misery. You know what I'm saying? Like people wouldn't have got a hold of them of the first zero or the first whiplet or the first translucent. They wouldn't have kept breeding and breeding and breeding until they stabilized the morph. Um, because honestly, when, when you find a new morph in any animal, any reptile, when you find a new morph, a new morph is born, that morph is weak. And so you have to breed it into a program to strengthen it. And so by just understanding that whole process, you know for a fact that a lot of babies died. A lot of babies died to strengthen the morph of a zero or whiplet or translucent or, uh, you know, stuff like that. But a lot of babies die when you try to strengthen these morphs and that don't really belong here on earth. Um, yes, God did create the bearded dragon just like he created everybody. But at the same time, it's almost like having, it's almost like a, a birth defect in humans. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody born with a shorter arm or somebody born with autism, things like that. I'm not, I have a nephew with autism. I'm not clowning nobody with autism. What I'm saying is it's a defect. It's a, it's a birth defect. And you just don't want to keep producing these animals with these defects. But I'm not saying we need to stop doing it because it's almost basically too late. So the thing about it is these morphs been around long enough to keep producing them, you know, if you want to. But uh, for the most part, man, these morphs were not supposed to be. And that's just realistic, you know. So it takes a lot of death to stabilize these morphs. And if anybody disagree with that, then so be it they just don't want to face the music but uh yeah man anyway silk backs are not to be bred do not take two leather backs and put them together at all please don't do it i don't advise anybody to do it um i still see breeders doing it, but i'm not gonna say no names uh it, it'd be a lot of drama within the community and honestly I don't care what people do with their dragons. Like at the end of the day, they pay for that animal. So they're going to do whatever they want to with that animal. So it's no controlling it. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a control controlled environment to where, you know, you buy a dragon from somebody and it's a contract for you not to breed or do this or do that with that animal. But anyway, man, it's, it's an open playing field. If you find a new morph and you think you want to stabilize it, go ahead. If you got the heart and the guts to do that, go ahead, man. Don't don't trip on what people other people say about you, because at the end of the day, man, you're not going to please everybody. You will not please everybody on this earth or even within the hobby. Um, that's just the way it is. People that speak truth. You know what I'm saying? That people like people that straight up speak truth about the government uh anything on this earth right now and if you speak truth it's gonna be a lot of haters man like 50 percent haters 50 percent good people so no matter what it is you want to do with your animal or with your life do it and i'm being real man because at the end of the day man you can't please everybody that's just the truth but i hope you guys are out there enjoying your animals you're feeding your animals a a, a very diet don't stick to one bug rotate your bugs every day if you can if you have the money buy supers mills uh dubia crickets uh wax worms horn worms 
buy any feeder that you can get your hands on and rotate that feeder. Don't just stick to one feeder. And on your greens, get you collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, kale every other month or every month, something like that. I don't feed kale a lot. And uh, even vegetables, bell pepper, carrots, uh, squash, stuff like that. Rotate your diet, man. Your bearded dragon don't want the same food every day at all. They don't. Ain't that right, Noggin? You don't want the same food every day? Say, no, I don't want the same food every day, buddy. She's been sleepy, man. Uh, it's kind of cool here in uh, North Texas. But yeah, man, uh, I took her out of her tank because she was sitting on her log dozing off. I said, come on, ride with me, girl. And she said, all right, daddy, I'll ride with you. Ain't that right? Yep, that's right. But anyway, man, like I say, do what you want to do with your animal. Um, hell, you can do whatever you want to it. I don't, I don't care. I mean, I'm not a judge. I'm not the judge, jury, or executioner, like most people think they are in this hobby. But uh, just take care of your animal, man. Feed them right. Uh, make sure they get a proper cycle of light. I do 12 on, 12 off with my lights, and uh, that's just what it is, man. But um, silk backs are wrong. Yeah, period, point blank. And I'm not, honestly, I'm not telling, man, I'm not telling you not. I didn't say it. I'm not telling you what to do with your animal, but I'm telling you it is. It is wrong because most people, when you sell that silk back, the person you sell it to, they really don't even understand it. And uh, I honestly think as a breeder, if you're going to breed bearded dragons, you should have like a questionnaire or a test to see what the person knows about bearded dragons. Because even as I sold Sokka to a new keeper, man, that was miserable, man. That was like a bad experience because I even tried to take her the proper UVB and heating and uh, a temp gun. And she gave me Sokka back and now she wants another dragon. But I'm going to give her another dragon soon enough. But, man, just be careful who you sell to and be careful who you buy from, man, because you don't know what they're doing with their dragons. And once again, I don't care what you do with your dragon. Just be safe, do your research, and understand what you are getting into is serious. Um, you're playing with lives. And uh, I've, I've seen a bearded dragon die in my hand um, for the first time. Was it this month? And it didn't feel it didn't feel too good at all. But be good, man, and uh, do what you want to do, or do what you do what you have to do until you can do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy Dragons of Thunder, man, and it's been good and real. And Naga is a big head, chilling little girl. Ain't that right, Naga? Huh? My huh, mama. I think she's going into a shed. I don't know. We'll find out soon. It's kind of hard to tell with zero sometimes. Yeah, she's going into a shed. But uh, look at them thighs, man. Yo, dragon got good thigh muscles or no. Nah. Make sure you give them a lot of activity, a lot of climbing objects in the uh, tank. If you can't, make sure you get them out and make sure you let them run around and climb a lot because if you don't, they will have skinny frog legs and that's not a good look. So that's the only thing that I can't stand is uh, skinny, skinny frog leg uh, bearded dragons. If they got them skinny frog legs, man, whoo. It don't look too good. Thrash the like, pound the subscribe, go read that description box. Um, I got a I got a giveaway for uh, Instagram, a 1.5K giveaway that's going on now. So once I hit 1,500 followers on Instagram, I will be sending a four by two by two custom built into, uh, uh, enclosure to one of you beautiful subscribers. So stay tuned to the channel and what? What do you see? You trying to bite me? What? What's wrong? What she see, y'all? You see a bird? Or you see that flag over there? What do you see? Don't bite me. She been being mean. Because she's sleepy. She just want to take a nappy nap. Anyway, man. I'm out. Y'all be good. Love y'all, peace, love, and soul, and hair grease, and all that good stuff. Naga, what do you see? Huh? What do you see? What do you see, mama? What do you see, baby? 
I'm out, man. Thrash the like, panel, subscribe. I keep saying that. Be good. Do what you want to do, man. Don't let nobody, don't let no haters stop you, man. It's going to be haters everywhere. It's going to be good people everywhere, too. Follow the good people and be with the good people, man. I'm out.